So then, Bobo, the big corner is back. Do you know that uh, uh, beside Bitcoin soft transaction, actually Bitcoin also soft organization. In fact, Bitcoin soft government in future. We know uh, the Bitcoin network solve monetary system by being quick and cheap, fair and square, truthful, trustless, and secure. Right? Actually, Bitcoin ecosystem principles can be applied to any situation where fairness is compulsory, where truth is a must and where honesty is rewarded. Today, I attempt to dive deeper into what Bitcoin Network uh, can do for our democratic world. But first, we have to understand there are three very important fundamentals of Bitcoin Network. First one, clarifications. In other words, safeguard that a transaction or transfer in Bitcoin uh, protocol is valid. If your wallet has only one Bitcoin, you cannot send more than uh, one Bitcoin, right? The system clarified it. Second thing is the consensus, where the majority of the network community or node agreed. No need to trust anybody or a group of people. And the third one is verification, where above is satisfied, the final confirmation went through a cryptographic hashes by miners before permanently registered into the decentralized blockchain. In a transaction, uh, sometimes called a message, a message system, the network is uh, first clarified that the original of the cons, uh, transaction or the message is true and correct. True or not, the consensus decide. By consensus, if more than 51% uh, in the network say it's true and correct, then it's true and correct. No argument, no dispute. If a network has only 100 people, another 100 nodes participating, it is not difficult to persuade or force or buy enough people to gain 51% majority. But if a network like Bitcoin uh, with more than 16,000 participating nodes now, there's no way to corrupt participants, especially where the, all the nodes are scattered around the group and they do not know each other. This is decentralization at its best. So majority vote can only be based simply on fact and truth. No other way. Finally, the verification stage. Proof of work is to validate the transaction into a decentralized blockchain. True cryptography. Proof of work is a Byzantine's general problem that ensure clarified transaction or messages in this case is locked into the blockchain ledger without a possibility of message being misled, misplaced, replaced, hijacked or manipulated. That's why Bitcoin blockchain has never been hacked. 
So, with these three fundamental principles, the message is always true and correct. Agreed by 51% uh, majority uh, at least, and each does not know each other. Then, lock permanently into the blockchain. Now, how does this apply to a democratic world? Imagine we have a country all right, regulated by these three fundamental principles. To manage the country, we need to elect a person to manage uh, every statutory box, right? The finance department, transport department, trade department, foreign affairs, whatever. That person, a citizen of course, first submits his application and qualification and capability. So through the first stage certificate, uh, certification, the general uh, uh, public clarifies him. Through people who knew him, his university, his background, his character, and his efficiency. There may be hundreds or thousands of applicants. Doesn't matter. The second stage after clarification is a selection process under the consensus principle. The whole population, in this case, every citizen in the country, is a note then make a decision. In other words, people who don't know the candidate make a decision based on his clarified profile. The majority decision is final. And the third stage is verifications. His performance on the job is the final proof of work. His Honest work is being rewarded by salary, uh, for example, like a miner being rewarded with Bitcoin. I will not get into the detail of how much to reward and that kind of thing. Let, let's leave it to another time for discussion. So, we don't need a political party to run the country. We only need the best brain to manage the country the breast head of each statutory board, be it finance, transport, trade, whatever. In simple terms, what we get is the best brain in the fair and truthful manner. No third party inference, no manipulation, no political promises. Simply the best two candidates win. Isn't a country better managed with the most fair and truthful manner or best brain? Instead of being polluted by the politicians, the consensus of a particular candidate is continuously being assessed over a period of time. It can be set by the uh, uh, protocol, the consensus kick in again if the selected candidate did not uh, perform to expectation, the citizen, through the consensus, can select a new majority candidate to replace him. So, the best brain has to be the best performance candidate all the time. Otherwise, at expiry period, you will be consensually voted out. Another layer or deeper layer can be discussed today is the candidate's team. Let's uh, take uh, transportation uh, department, select uh, a section head as an example. The best brain or head in the transportation department invite candidates to support him on the various departments like bus section, train section, 
ERP, uh, road tax, etc. So being head of the transport uh, department, he first clarifies the candidate, then put him through the consensus protocol for the public's majority decision. The successful section head candidate is then decided. Thereafter, section head performance of the job is the final proof of work. His performance uh, is, if his performance is honest and good, he will be rewarded, just like a miner rewarded with Bitcoin for his section or uh, effort. The same processes goes with every deeper layer. In so doing, we not only get the best brain for the head, uh, for the, for the head of statutory board, we also get the best brain for the section head, filtered down all the way to the lowest uh, job within the statutory board. The above is simply a simple illustration of how Bitcoin, uh, how powerful Bitcoin network can be. Through the fair and truthful clarification, went through the democratic consensus decision, get the best people to manage the each statutory board and his honest performance will be rewarded. There's no political party to fight, no anti-promises uh, during uh, election rally. Every selection is done in an open, fair and truthful manner. Citizens' consensus make the decision. The best Bain perform his best honest work and be rewarded. That's it. Everybody is happy. The country will be managed at its best. The same three fundamental uh, principles can be methodically applied to any organization, any establishment, or any setup. I believe the world will be more peaceful if these three fundamental principles are applied globally. And by the way, do not confuse with the El Salvador's legal uh, tender of Bitcoin. That is strictly monetary, all right, being uh, an asset. What I explained above is Bitcoin, the network, the system. I find this a very interesting and challenging subject. I would like to invite like-minded friends who agree or disagree with my analogy. Let's have a coffee and explore deeper. You know, I, I never had this kind of chance uh, to uh, when I put when I apply something new idea to the audience like you. You can contact me directly or through my Facebook at Richard Poor. Something interesting, huh? Something to think about also. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.